In this video, I'm showing you the new ANET mainboard version 1.7. I'm going to compare it with the old version 1.5 and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. So just a few days ago, I got in the new ANET mainboard version 1.7. I was really curious to test this out and compare it to the old version, which is 1.5, and that's what I just removed from my ANET A8. And I'm definitely gonna check it out and build um, and mount it to my ANET A8 very soon. But before I do that, I wanna give you a full overview of what has changed between these two board versions, what has become better and what didn't change and why you wanna wanna buy a new board and why probably not. So let's start with the first thing that you see on the board, which is a new fuse, uh, which hasn't been on the old board. And that should prevent this board from burning through if it gets overloaded. Uh, at least it should prevent the worst in terms of like this thing catching fire or so. And then we have the second uh, thing that has changed, which are these connectors. And if you think about the old connectors on the on the 1.5 or the, the previous boards, these old connectors are pretty, pretty wobbling or pretty loose. Um, so I was always afraid when tightening the screws on these connectors that I was like gonna break uh, the connections or rip them out of the main board. And also the uh, connections on the back where they are soldered uh, are very very small and thin and so this was a weak spot definitely and was also causing issues sometimes also this connector was sort of sometimes a source of problems that it could get overheated so here you can see i mean on the front you have this new connector it looks much much sturdier and also on the back side these connections look much better and um, it makes a good impression and it would definitely not cause any issues and then if you also consider always to put on cable shoes on all of your cables, this will make the connections to the board much, much better, much safer. I think these are the two most important upgrades in terms of safety to the board. Then what you also will recognize on this board is that there is something written here in the corner of the board which says power 12 to 24 watts, which is impressive because that means you can also drive this board with 24 volts which sounds promising because that could mean that this board will heat up your heat bed much faster and also the hot end because both will get powered by 24 volts instead of 12 volts. That also of course means you need to switch out your power supply. But that's something for another video where I'm definitely going to test out a 24 volt upgrade for the ANET A8 and see how much different the experience is. Besides that, what I mentioned just uh, nothing else changed so far. Um, there is a little bit of a different layout of all the parts but the processor seems to be the same which is a little bit of a bummer because it only has 128 kilobytes which will cause the same kinds of memory issues with modern firmware flashing and also the stepper motor drivers seem to be the same as far as I can read from the specifications uh, on the internet. That didn't change that's also a little bit of a downside. So the question is, why would you buy this board? So I would say, because of the safety upgrades that I've just shown you here, uh, with the fuse, the new connectors, and the possible 24 volt upgrade, it's definitely worth getting this board if you have to replace your old one because it somehow failed, it burned through, whatever. Then I would definitely look for this new version and not try to get an old version. In the last video, I also shown you that it's already are ready to flash new firmware. So that worked pretty well with the USB cable. That's still working. Besides that, if you already have the 1.5 board and you are thinking of an upgrade, you might consider going directly to uh, some RAM board or the MKS, because this board is not so much a feature upgrade. I would say it's mostly a safety upgrade and possibly a 24 volt, which is interesting but for the same amount of money. So this board is around about 30 euros uh, or 40 euros, depending on where you get it and how, you long, how long you wanna wait for it. Um, it's, you can get a RAMS upgrade for the same amount of money. And it's just the point that this is of course an easy switch out replacement 
But one thing I'm definitely going to test out on this channel is doing the 24 volts upgrade to see whether it's heating up faster and you don't just have to, have to wait so long. And that's sometimes really annoying if you have to wait when you want to print something that needs a higher bed temperature. Uh, the waiting time sometimes really is a downside of this printer. So I'm hoping that this will improve. And yeah, let's see in the next video how that's going to happen. So now since I have it here, I'm gonna uh, mount it to my init A8 and see how it performs uh, in the 12 volt settings. And I have to flash a new firmware on it, obviously, because I'm using the BL touch sensor. And if you have any questions about this board and where to get it, check it out in the description. I've put some links there. So I hope um, this is going to help you make the right decision. And now let's put it into the printer. So that's it. If you liked it, hit the like button and do all the good things. And I see you next time.